What's up, guys? Abstract Dragon Productions here. I am Chris. I'm Drew. And we are back with another episode of Ahsoka. Yes, episode three. Uh, all right, last time. Bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> um, basically, we had um, Chopper. That's it. Yep, that's, no, that's nothing that's else all that happened. happened. Chopper was there. He saved the day. <laughs> Super Chopper. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, and uh, no, really. Um, the big thing that I really, you know, re really remember from it is, is the gigantic hyperspace ring that is having the final touches being put on it by. Morgan Elsbeth and company to go to another galaxy to go get Thrawn and bring him home. Uh, right. Yeah. Because, yeah, we're, we're about four steps behind the villains at the moment. Uh, because we just now learned that, well... And Ahsoka's already and, figured that part out. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes. And, uh, we had, um, a small, well, I say a small pocket, a pocket of Imperial sympathizers or whatever on Corellia and the, the shipyards that was at some point under the control of Morgan Elsbeth because she had shipyards on Corellia. Because why not? Yeah, <laughs> that's what you do, I guess. And that's there was a lot ship. of imperial uh, sympathizers. That's what I said. Yeah. Yes. And uh, they all got arrested, after and they... or not arrested. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, because the, the uh, there's a gigantic hyperdrive, and the New Republic was not making anything that big. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we have um, basically our little trio of Ahsoka, Professor Huang, and a Sabine basically go up racing to uh, planet Cetus. I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't know. Um, where the... Uh, tracker that chopper so heroically put on the ship yeah because they're trying to get to peridium <laughs> yeah, which is where well they believe they're on us yeah the pathway to peridia was like yeah it was a thing um yeah so um yeah and sabine is back in her armor after who knows how long with short hair yes she gave herself a haircut with a vibro knife <laughs> A la Kanan, except not being blind. <laughs> Maybe she was blind to the truth. Oh, well. He did the best he could without a mirror. <laughs> the Bindu helped him. Uh, well, this is way after the Bindu was there. <laughs> no, I was saying the Bindu told him how to um, see without sight. Yeah. So he used the Force yeah. to find the back of his head and not cut himself. Yeah. But the he only went thing way I, too short. The only thing is, is I wish they had brought a love cat. Well, he, those are so adorable. Hers actually looks like a, you know, haircut. His look like a weird <laughs> mullet. <laughs> okay. Am I wrong? I, it, I don't it's know. I mean, short on the sides and it just like sticks down like this far. Just a little tuft that was in the back. Yeah. But that was about it. You know. Anyways. Um, so, alright. Well, shall we get going on with this week's episode? Alright. Here we go. <laughs> Yay, Chopper! Cetos. Well, 
every Jedi he ever known. He told her that? Uh, it is true. It doesn't matter. I think it does. Agree. Uh, oh, we're going to do the whole blind thing like with Luke. The last shield down. I can't see. How am I supposed to fight? Ha uh ha. -huh. I want you to see with more than just your eyes. I mean, we don't know what her metachlorian count is, so. Mine's four. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mine's over 9,000! <laughs> Mine's probably in the single digits as well. It'd be funny if she, like, smacked Wang and knocked his head off. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> Oh, come on. That was just rude. One of them is who? Ziono? No. Chancellor Mothma, Senator Tara, Peter Quell. How's young Jason? Fine, Chancellor. Oh, we got a name drop of. Somewhere. <laughs> Causing trouble with Chopper, no doubt. Yes, but I believe their activities lead to a larger operation. It always does. Involving Thrawn. Oh. Grand Admiral Thrawn. There's a name that you have. <laughs> just kind of. Well, he disappeared years ago. I have reason to believe he's alive. Were you ever in the war somewhere? Ooh. Mm -mm. No. No. Just sat back and waited to see who came out of time. Oh. Ouch. They were smart enough to give her command. Exactly. <gasps> oh my god! Jason? Where did you hear that? Chopper told me. It does. Drop. Hold on. 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 Obi Wan would be very cross if you. That's just That's okay. not suspicious. <laughs> they actually look like World War II aircraft. <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> there may not be a later. <laughs> you know, if this was the ghost and it was Hera, they would already won this fight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So this thing is armed, not just a, uh, okay. Really? Closer, please. Closer, please. <laughs> a little bit of the doctor coming out of mm -hmm. it. Huh? 
Okay. Do you have some kind of EV suit that I'm not aware of? Yep, she does have an EV suit. Oh, okay. Does her EV suit um, have her head tilt out? I can't tell from here. Yep. Well, they're covered. Oh, okay. They're it's like specifically designed for Tagutens. Oh, okay. Oh, well, nice shot. Did you fix the ship yet? That was a very snips thing to do. <laughs> Just floating across. Yeah. I got it. Great. Now get me. Now get me. <gasps> Pergill! Pergill! Pretty bad shape. That's right, you were offline. <laughs> really? When? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you missed a bear a little bit there. Hunt them down. Beast up. Beast up. Beast up. Don't tell me that's the end. Probably. Yep. Oh, <laughs> there's Seth Green again. Seth Green. <laughs> Dun, dun. Oh, and I thought you were joking. I didn't realize that you're being uh, serious about Chopper being Dave Filoni. Oh, I'm... like when I looked it up, I, yeah. I didn't realize that you were being serious. I never, I never put two and two together like yeah. that. I always assumed it was Steve Bloom as well as Zeb. No. Yay! Return of the Pergy. Well, live action Pergil. Finally, yay. Um. Well, that was an interesting episode. It was a lot of action. What? Oh, my freaking tab. My... Yeah. <laughs> it's being weird. Um, technology. <laughs> okay, caveman. Mm. You. Humans together, strong. Strong. Yes. Society, yes. good. Yes, yes. strong. Mm. Caveman with best technology mm. win many followers. Technolo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Social media. It's mm. boring. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> Technology should have ended with the spoon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Only for the doctor. Because <clears throat> that's all he needs. Now, uh, this was a very... Short. It was not... Oh, it didn't feel short. I mean, it... it felt short to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just because of all the action uh, piece set, uh, pieces. I mean, with between the training and the um, space combat... Um, Interrupted a little bit with a uh, Senate board meeting. <laughs> yeah. Um, which did learn now. Uh, Mon Mothma is uh, uh, the new chancellor of the New Republic, which is cool. And hair tank don't take no guffing off nobody. She just tore her, that one center up one side, down the other. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um,. And uh, we actually got to see Jason. That's cool. Um, he has a little bit 
darker green hair in live action than he did in like uh, the end of Rebels, but yeah, the that's end. you know that's that's understandable. I mean, um, and it could be that you know that he's older, he's getting you know you know, character color changed or whatever. So, um, but yeah, um, he wants to be a Jedi. Like his father before him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that makes me think uh, that, uh, let's see, he's what? 12, maybe? I was thinking 10 to 12. 12? 10 to 12. Yeah, between 10 and 12. Yeah. He's, he's not a teenager <laughs> no. yet. No. But between 10 and 12, so that means that he's still got 20 years before he. Catches up with the sequel trilogy. And he is nowhere to be found. Mm. I mean, he could have not been in any sort of Jedi training facility or anything like that. You know, especially at Mike Luke or anything like that. So, we don't know. Um, He could just go the whole pilot way that, you know, like his mama. So, (laughs) Um, but, uh, um, yeah, uh, the Senate council members are just really not wanting to believe that Thrawn is out there and could possibly be alive. I mean, and I understand that there's going to be just, you know, people who just don't believe until they see, but geez, come on. Yeah. I mean,. Like Kara said, Thrawn is no ordinary Imperial officer. (laughs) He was a Grand Admiral, the only non-human Grand Admiral that the Emperor appointed for a reason. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I was right. What? Uh, I was was double-checking because we were talking about the Senators. Oh, yeah. Um, Ziono, that's uh, the dude from Resistance, his dad. Oh, yeah, okay. That's so... Yeah, he's always been a not interesting, fun person to be around. Yeah. Um, so, we uh, finally got to the Danab system and C Toss. I had to make sure I spoke, you know. Forgot I was going to say, I don't know how to spell it, so I didn't write it down. Um, um, I also know that. Balin is spelled B A Y L A N. <laughs> oh, I'm spelling B A L A N. So it's with a Y in it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even spell. This is B A L O N. That's how I spelled it before. But um, anyways, Balon. Ba- Balan. Anyways. No. Um. So. Yeah. Ahsoka's ship got pounded. Mm-hmm. Um. Like I said in the reaction, if this was the ghost and piloted by Hera, yeah, I mean, that fight over the fight would have been that. over a long time ago. <laughs> um, so, yeah, now they're just. I, I foresee the next step is going to be like a, like a hide and seek in the forest type of thing. Um, I'm hoping not, only for the fact of, like I said, now that we're officially done with this episode. We're halfway done with the series. Yeah. So that leaves a lot to wrap up in three episodes left when each episode's only been like 55 minutes, 48 minutes, 42 minutes. Yeah. yeah, I mean... That was a pretty short episode. Yeah, kind of, I guess you could say. It feels Um, short to me. I was like, for... when We're coming from normal series television that's hour-long... Um, dramatic television. Which usually is 42 minutes anyways because of commercials. Because of commercials. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have commercials, why not have that extra yeah. I, I don't 10 know. minutes or so? Like that first one, I don't know, 55 but... minutes, that was perfect. That was great. Yeah. Um, but, you know, in Dave Filoni, we must trust. So. Well, that's one of the big complaints <laughs> I have about Mandalorian is um, they have so much information to pack in in eight episodes that... The episode lengths are like 
38 minutes, 40 minutes. Yeah, but that, I don't, I, I mean, John Favreau is, I think, a showrunner for that, not Dave Filoni. But in, in, even then, I don't know. I mean, it's, yeah, it is a lot to pack in, a lot of stuff, but. Yeah, I mean, I really wish they would have gone with a lot more episodes. I mean, and that way the characters can have time to breathe and we have a little bit more time for the story to breathe and stuff like that. I mean, unless the next episode, I mean, it starts off in the forest and then all of a sudden, oh, we're done with the space ring and then boom, there they go. So, uh, the thing I want to compare it to is Book of Boba Fett. That was eight episodes. Yeah, but it didn't two and feel a like half, it. One and a half episodes was spent with Mandalorian. Exactly. <laughs> so, the, the the thing that I'm, I'm, I'm running into here is Book of Boba Fett went by so fast, it was like blinking, you miss it. Because once we got granted, past the first his... two episodes were like backstory for how he ended up where he exactly. was. Exactly. So Which sounds get, fine. I that's was, two great episodes to see used that. right yeah. there. So episode three, we have the uh, Power Rangers on motorbikes. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Then And the slowest car chase ever. Yeah. <laughs> and then four and five is setting up the conflict with the Pikes. Was so, it? Yeah. Okay. That was setting up the conflict with the Pikes because six is when um, uh, 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 Cad Bane and all that stuff is introduced. Then Mandalorian, then Mandalorian 1.5, <laughs> then it's the finale. So there was only three episodes of Boba Fett. Yeah. I don't know. They. It's like they, with that one, they, it's like they had him, like, I don't know. It's like they switched gears with him all, like halfway through the... Because I know there was like this whole thing where they were like, yeah, Boba Fett should be a silent protagonist. Yeah. And shouldn't talk a lot. That's why Finnick is there. Like, why? <laughs> I mean, yes, Finnick is there because she owes him a life debt. But, I mean, because he saved her life and whatnot. But, I mean, th- there's no reason why he can't talk. And Fennec Shan was a great character. Yeah. I feel like they undersold her. Because they played her off as she was going to be his top lieutenant co-star. And the majority of it was, okay, now I gotta go fix your mess. (laughs) Oh. But, I don't know. Um, Because he was trying so hard to turn over a new leaf and people just would not let him. No. So he had to do the whole war thing, and now I, I don't know what what happens. I mean, it's just okay. Apparently, that's going to be uh, either I cannot believe I'm saying this, but a Boba Fett season two, or it's going to be wrapped up in that Dave Filoni movie. One of the <laughs> okay. two. Uh, they've they've come out and oh. said that they're looking at the potential of a <sighs> Boba Fett season two. Okay. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Just like when I read, they're going to be a She Hulk season two. <laughs> What? <laughs> Why? Uh, did you see that? It just came out yesterday. No, I did not see anything like yeah, that. I yesterday. have been too busy doing other right life things <laughs> to do that. <laughs> oh, I, anything that's Marvel, DC, uh, Star Wars, or anything like that, I get push notifications. I intentionally don't do that because spoilers. <laughs> well, I try. I, I, I avoid yeah. things that have spoiler yeah. in the tag. Um, but if it's just news like that, She Hulk season two. I don't know. Maybe it's just... Like, apparently they were in negotiations before the strike, and they got permission to talk about it. Okay. And I'm like... But still, it's going to be a ways away. Oh, absolutely. We're looking at 2027. Well, that's fine. Because all the shows that are still currently filming, or had to stop filming because of the strike, have to finish and come out first. Like, Daredevil, Born Again... It was like two weeks into filming, and then... Oh well. <laughs> oh, well. You know, I'm not in control of that. <sighs> so but anyways. anyways, back to the episode at large. Sorry, I, I, I went off on a tangent. I do that. Um, <sighs> um, Who Yang's back online. And missed and the Pergil. Missed the Pergil. Yes. He got disabled with the ship. 
for some reason, but managed to scan the uh, entire gigantic hyperspace ring, which was armed. That was something new. <laughs> Turbo lasers. Yeah, that okay. don't laser. They boom. Explode. Which is weird. It reminded me of um, anti-aircraft missiles on, uh, like, a destroyer. Uh, the anti-aircraft flak cannons yeah. from World War Two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, sure. Or sonic charges. Mm. But it didn't go pew pew like Star Wars stuff do. No. Like, we've seen <laughs> turbo lasers that go pew pew or bzzzm, Not boom. Why is there something that all of a sudden know. goes boom? It explodes. Because Morgan Elizabeth built it that way, I would imagine. <laughs> I don't know. I knew it was probably some sort of like imperial tech or something like that. Maybe in the works or something. I don't yeah. know. Um, but um, now, uh, maybe because of the jamming field... Hera is just going to take her ship and the ghost, hopefully. Grab some people and just, hey, come with me. We're going. Don't care what the uh, Senate says. I got cut off in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> I have a theory. And they're going to show up. Yeah, but I have a, it's going to be too late. <laughs> I agree with you. I have a theory that I know who's going to be on this quote-unquote task force. Zeb! Zeb and Captain Appa and what? the other Rangers. Captain. Oh. Paul Hyung Kim. Okay. I, I can never remember the character's name in Star Wars. When I, you but he's, say he's Appa, Appa. I, I think of Appa from Avatar The Last Airbender, and it's like, what? <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's, yeah, from Kim's Convenience. But he's actually playing Iro. Or Iro. I, okay. Uh, in the Avatar live action. Yeah. But, um. um <laughs> It's like an opera. It's, it's like I don't opera remember. is a flying bison. I can remember his. I can never remember his name in Star Wars. <laughs> so I just say Captain Opa, so I can remember his face. Okay. Um. Uh. But probably. Um. And any. Get... So, who could that be? Who are the Rangers that have officially been introduced? Dave Filoni. Plays the one that sits at the edge of the table all the time that you can barely see. Um, he's been in the he's been, he's been in the cockpit yeah, a couple yeah, times, a times, but so yeah. we got Dave Filoni, we got Captain Appa, Zeb, Zeb, maybe Callus, or is Callus still on Lyrison? Yeah, I don't or know if he, he actually just like, lives there or if he was just introduced and yeah, made one of the family. Maybe I mean he could have like they didn't specify. He, he, he in could the have worked, you know, maybe after more. after uh, the 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 war with the empire was over, he retired, and that's where he was. <laughs> or he like, or he may have pulled an Andor and been <laughs> an undercover agent the whole time. What? Like feeding intel to the rebels during the. Between the... Okay. What? The war's over. Why would he do that? I was saying in the interim. In the interim? Yes. What interim? Between the Battle of Endor and the Battle of Yavin. Okay. Like, in that time Is frame. That backwards? Okay, sure. I know. I'm saying what he was doing in the interim, he oh. may have actually established himself in the New Republic somehow. Well, he did. Doing something. <laughs> he did. <laughs> He, I mean, we didn't see what he was, but he, yeah, he was fully in the, in the rebellion. Yes. Well, yeah, he was on first name basis yeah. with Mom Mothma. I, yeah. I get that. So, what I'm I saying mean, is... I wasn't talking about that part of his life. I was talking about after the whole, you know, the war with the Empire is over with. I mean, he could have easily just retired to, and then, you know, just went off and, you know, got him a, a beachfront property somewhere on Lyrison and Right. I was saying maybe what he did during the war established him with some kind of a title in the New Republic. Okay. Like, working on the political side of things or something along those uh, lines. I don't see him as a political type of person because I think he's already had enough of that. Um, that's just me personally. I mean, he was with the ISB. That's mm -hmm. not really... I mean, it's not too political. 
unless you get up into the upper ranks, like around like what Admiral Yerlarn was. Yeah. Where you have to deal with political people, but I don't. I don't yeah. know. Um, I think he was just more content on, you know, hey, I'm going to be a little bit more in the action this time. So, yeah. so but anyways, Callus, uh, I don't morning, know if Captain we see Cal. I don't know if we'll see Callus. It would be great to see Callus, or maybe even have him mentioned or something. What he was, what where he's at, what he's doing. You know, maybe he settled down, and had a family. <laughs> maybe. Oh, <laughs> maybe he married a uh, Larsat. A Lasat. Lasat, yeah. Yeah. I was I was thinking the planet and the <laughs> species at the same time. Uh Yeah. It's almost like saying Chewbacca speaks Kashikian. <laughs> yeah, which it's Shri Wook is the name of the language. Yeah. But um, uh, I mean, hey, we had Sice Noodles and Zero the Hut have a relationship, so weird things have happened. So. You're not wrong. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> I don't know. What, speculation wise, where do you think we're going from here? Like, obviously, we've got to go. We have to go across the Thrawn. galaxy somehow. I really hope they don't hold off Thrawn to the finale. I'm 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 worried that the shot we saw of Thrawn in the trailer, the. It shows the back of his head, yeah. and it shows the front of the front of his face in the Comic Con trailer. I did not see the Comic Con trailer. I just saw the one where we saw the back of his head. And yeah, and like, I swore that it was Jason Isaacs because of the ears, and I was so wrong. Nope, so mad. Um, nope, it's uh, Matt uh, Matt Mickelson. Lars. Lars Mickelson. Lars yeah. Mickelson. Yeah, uh, the same Mickelson. one that voiced him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in series three of the Benedict Cumberbatch Sherlock, uh, he was the he was antagonist. Dark. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he, he was the main antagonist. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, um, uh, th that version of Sherlock is like known for his mind palace, mm -hmm. and this guy uh, had a mind palace that was so much more established that he was able to infiltrate Sherlock's mind palace and torment him mentally. <laughs> it was nuts. Um, okay, so like, he made Moriarty look like a children's villain. <laughs> okay. Like he was nuts. Uh, I loved his character. Mm -hmm. So, that being said, I'm hoping that it's not, they don't do it in the show, and it's like, this is back what happened, like, they're, they're filling in the blanks of what happened prior to, like, he's walking into the room of a bunch of uh, Imperial generals and all that kind of stuff, and it's just someone remembering it, and not him in modern time, or yeah. lack of a better term contemporary time yes okay because um, that would make me so upset <laughs> my favorite character of star wars of all time and you relate him to a a, a flashback well the only way we'll know is wait for the next episodes to drop so yeah, yeah but that required me to wait um, a week yeah, i don't well, want to wait <laughs> Then figure out time travel. I don't I know. Want to... <laughs> I'll tell you what. If I figure out time travel, I will knock on that door in five, four, <sighs> three, two. And now you're just trolling yourself. That's depressing. <laughs> you probably got a better idea, like going to like the 1980s and buying Apple stock. <laughs> I say nothing. First Apple device I've ever owned uh, in my life, and I'm still trying to get used to it. Well, I'm... Okay. Like I said... My book's closed. That's how my book was closed. So, until next time, be sure to like, subscribe, and do the whole button bell dingy thingies and whatnot, and saying hi in the comments and whatnot. Um, yeah. Um, help us out. Yeah, let us know if we're completely <laughs> off base or if you agree with us. And please remind me of the guy's name, Captain <laughs> Appa. He's Captain something. He has a name. Yeah. It's been said multiple times I in don't... Star Wars. I just can't remember it. <laughs> please. But yeah. Um... I don't want to be a fool anymore. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so until the next time, bye-bye and be blessed, everyone.